everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to actually talk about achieving goals. It's the beginning of the week, it's Monday, we all know I love the beginning of the week and it's a perfect time to start afresh, start off the week being inspired, motivated and enjoying your life. So today what I want to talk about is, is achieving goals and actually give a trick as to sort of how to get the ball rolling. One thing that I've noticed with myself and also with many people that I coach is that everyone has things that they want to achieve, but a lot of times with that comes a long list of all the things that are holding them back. It could be a list of you know, things that they don't think that they're good at, things that they doubt, things that are not working, all of that. You know, someone has a goal and, and then suddenly they're thinking, you know, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> or, you know, they're not good enough to do it, or how are they going to do this, and they don't have the money for it, or all of that. And one thing that, one thing my, my mother actually taught me when I was very young, and something I've always like, held on very deeply and dearly, is she has said to me, if you want something bad enough, you'll find a way, you'll make a way for it to happen. And that's something that I've always carried with me throughout my childhood and my adult life. And it, it has always empowered me, but at the same time, I also realized that what would disempower me was a lot of that self-talk, <laughs> a lot of the doubt, a lot of obstacles that I, I would kind of feed into and that I, I sort of put my attention on. And so one trick that I've come up with that has really helped me and has helped many people that I've worked with is at those times when you are thinking about those goals or you're thinking about the things you want to achieve or things you want to do, instead of indulging in the doubt and, and into everything you need to do and, and what's against you and, and all of that, I suggest actually taking a step back and thinking about times in your life when you have made the impossible possible, where times in your life you have achieved things. Everyone has had some sort of experience, whether small or large, where against all odds they're able to do something. And it could be something as small as finding a parking space that they thought would be impossible to find, or it could be that they didn't have rent money and last minute somehow the money appeared, or they found their dream job, or they met someone, all sorts of things. We go through in our daily life where we think we, it's, it's not possible and suddenly there's an opening, Some, somehow there's a way. And so I find the more that we think back to those experiences and draw from those experiences and empower ourselves from those experiences, then when we go towards our present goals or the things we want to achieve, we, we have the power behind us. We, we have more belief in ourselves instead of indulging in that long list of <laughs> all the things that are against you. And so I guess that's what I, the tip I have for you today. You know, it's Monday and if there are certain things that you've been thinking about doing or wanting to do, but you just keep putting it on the side because you don't think you can do it, maybe today's the day to think about, you know, what are the things that you've already done? What are the things that you've achieved? Start with that and then build on that. You know, we all have to remind ourselves that we are capable. So that's what I'm leaving with today. I'm wishing you a fabulous day and I will see you again soon.